Hi everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to you all with another video. I'm going to read from my prayer book, Walk in Faith. I'm going to read a Bible verse and then I'm going to read the prayer. Uh, tomorrow, the Saturday, is my mother's birthday. You know, my mom, well, you, you all know, might not know, but my mother, you know, passed away when I was 19. You know, so in 2004, my mother passed away, you know, but if she would have, you know, tomorrow's the 22nd, Saturday is her birthday. You know, she, if she would have lived, she would have been 68 years old this year. She would have been 68. But yeah, like I said, you know, so lost my grandmother earlier this month and now my mom's birthday approaching. <laughs> so it's kind of hard for me. But yeah, you know. She, my mom's been dead for, well, deceased, should I, should I say, for 18 years this year, back in August the 22nd. So she died two months before her 50th birthday. But yeah, my mom would have been 68 this year. But um, anyway, just thought I'd share a little bit of that. I'm going to read the Bible verse, like I said, in the prayer. So here's the Bible verse. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. That's from the first book of John, chapter 3, Bible verse 11. Okay, here's the, pray the prayer. Bless my family, O oh God, for it is unique. Some say too much, so I am grateful you know we are joined by love for each other and for and from you. We are grateful that you use more than one pattern to create a good family. This pioneering family has you at its heart. Our love is what glues us together. Okay, I'm about to read, I'm about to read an um, article about Chance the Rapper. It's from complex.com, you know, and the, uh, the author, I'll write his name in the description box below, but it, okay, I'm going to start reading the article now. It's from complex.com. The name of the article is called Chance the Rapper's Wife Addresses His Like of Explicit Tweet. Chance the Rapper's wife has come to his defense. The Grammy-winning rapper began trending this week after he was accused of liking sexually explicit content on Twitter. The tweet in question posted by a trans pornography account back in March asked users there to choose between three types of trans content. Dating adult games, and webcam, all of which were accompanied by a hyperlink. Okay, here's a tweet. Judas at SWS Judas. Why is Chance the Rapper liking trans porn? Okay, I ain't gonna read the rest of that, but to no one's surprise, the like immediately caused a stir on social media. While many defended Shan Shano, or Chano, others responded with bigger told transphobic takes, some of which were directed to his wife, Chris Kristen Cooley Bennett. On Friday, Bennett took to social media to set the record straight and address the bothered trolls. She accused the haters of making a big deal out of nothing and insisted Chance like wasn't intentional. You all be reaching, she began. He's never going to address this, but all I have to say is we were literally at an event last night, the night before last, until late. We were celebrating, and sometimes you like shit by accident. So you all 
So all you all little trolls coming for Paige that are getting blocked, you all can go to hell. You can watch Bennett's full video here. Okay, I'll play that video, but before I do, I'm going to finish reading the rest of this, which isn't much of this um, article. Chance and Bennett began dating in 2013 and tied the knot just six years later, the, which is 2019. The couple shares two children, a seven-year-old daughter, Kinsley, Kinsley, and a three-year-old daughter, Marley. Okay, that's sweet. They have a family. That's good. But um, let's play this. Let me play this video of her response. This is from the Shade Room. So I'm going to read this about her and what she has to say. Y'all really be reaching. <laughs> and he's never going to address this. But all I have to say is we were literally at an event all night. Last night, not last night, the night before last, until late, we were celebrating. So sometimes she was on accident. So, all y'all little trolls coming to my page that are getting blocked, y'all can go to hell. Okay, that's all that was said. And they and I'm gonna they show another thing. I'm gonna just let y'all read that. Well, I'll read it to y'all. Hold on. Number T S R reaction. Chance the rapper trends on Twitter after users noticed his account liked and unliked a sexual, sexually explicit tweet. Okay, let's move on to the next. Okay, I guess that's all. You know, it wasn't much. But um, that's the end of the article. And I just played y'all the video of his wife responding. So, here's my take on this. I feel like Chance the Rapper, you know, he liked trans, you know, trans porn. I mean, so what, I mean, he liked it on purpose. In my opinion, he was watching it and he liked it. He liked what he was seeing, I believe. So why would he just like it on mistake? You know, you just don't, people just don't make mistakes like that. I think he got turned on by it. He was into it. So he liked it on purpose. And the reason why he unliked it was because he got caught and he was embarrassed. That's why I think he unliked the post. You know, if you like porn, you like you like that stuff. I mean, I don't I don't like it online like that. I wouldn't, you know, I don't know why they show that type of stuff on Twitter. You got websites and you got you know, you got adult you got adult channels, you know, adult you know, channels, you know, for people to watch porn and stuff like that. So it's like, why do they have that mess on Twitter? I just don't think that that's appropriate to be having that on Twitter, really on social media at all. Like I said, there's websites for that, and there's um, adult channels for, that you have to pay for to watch that stuff. So it's like Twitter, I think that's too explicit for Twitter. But like I said, he knew what he was doing. I don't think he made a mistake. You know, if she believed, his wife believed that he made a mistake about watching that or about liking it, okay, then why respond? Why we, why respond to the, the, the um, trolls? Why make a video? Why not just block people who got something to say that you don't like? Just block them. I wouldn't have responded, you know, unless I responded on Twitter with a tweet. That's it. And if you don't like my tweet or you come on my page showing bad behavior or, or showing disrespect, you would get blocked. I don't think she should have came out and had a video, made a video. But like I said, you know, she wanted to defend her or she wants to defend her husband. You know, I don't think there's nothing too wrong with that. But you could have just came out with a tweet. 
you didn't have to, you know, make a video about it, in my opinion, because you letting people know that you are bothered, you know, by what, they, what they've been saying and everything like that. Chance could defend himself, and the fact that he's not saying anything about it speaks volumes. Really him, like I said, but he's too embarrassed. I think he's embarrassed, and he, you know, got caught. So that's probably why he's not saying anything. And in this situation, you know, silence is, is silence is golden. In this situation, is a prime example that silence would have been golden, meaning you wouldn't have been bothered by what those people were saying, because it don't seem like he's bothered much by it. But you know, girl, stand by your man, I guess. But like I said, you know, I I believe that he knew what he was doing. He liked it on pur He liked watching that porn on purpose. And, you know, he, like I said, he's embarrassed that he got caught straight up, basically. If that's what he into, okay, that's what he into. If he not into it, he shouldn't have been watching it. If that's not something you like, you shouldn't have watched it and you shouldn't have liked it. You know, I know people are entitled to change their mind and everything like that, but you, you know, you, you liking it, then you unliking it the next minute. I, I just find that a little suspect. I just feel like, you know, if you don't like that type of stuff, don't watch it, period. Don't watch it. You know, I think that he was probably scared that he would get judged, that he would get criticized. That's probably why, he un you know, why he unliked it, you know. But like I said, to me, by him unliking it, it seemed like he, he might be on some down. I I'm not going to say that. But it seemed like down low type of behavior to me. I'm not saying that's what he is and that's what he into because what he's into is his business. I'm not going to accuse him of anything. But to me, it's like suspect and it seemed like down low type behavior. Just saying. But do you, you know, if you happy with your husband and you believe Chance, wifey, if you believe him, then okay. Believe your husband, but you didn't have to give people a public response. You could have just ignored them, blocked them, and move on. Don't let them know that they are affecting you or him. But that's all I really have to say about it. But next time, Chance, be careful what you're doing. Learn from this situation. You know what I'm saying? If you like something, stand by what you like. If you don't like it, then don't then don't watch it or don't give it much attention. Just just ignore it and move on. Because when you like, because uh, on Twitter when you like stuff, that stuff is public. When you unlike stuff, it's public. So like I said, be careful what you do. Be careful what you're watching. Just overall, be careful how you move because people in a, on social media, people will follow you. People will troll you. People will, you know, you let people know your business, basically. That's what you're doing. You let people know your business. So if I were you, just like I said, tread lightly. That's all. If you like something, stand by what you like. If you don't like it, then don't pay it no attention. Don't watch it. Don't look at it. But that's all I basically have to say, you all. You know, um... I hope you all like the video. I hope you all like. I hope you all enjoy watching this. I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you want. Give me those likes up because the more likes I get, the better chances I have, uh, you know, being popular on YouTube and people with more people will, would want to come and watch my videos. But yeah, like I said, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you want, and you all have a great night and a great weekend. Peace.